Hello, my friend. Stay a while and listen. What's going on YouTube? It's Filthy and we're back with another video. We're on the last day of the PTR for season 25. So I thought it'd be fun to look through the leaderboards, work out what is going to be the best builds. It's not necessarily a tier list because I do think we are going to have some changes. Uh, there is some definite cheese in here with one of the soul shards that is really kind of mucking some stuff up. But it's interesting to have a look through the changes Blizzard have made this patch, work out which builds are solo 150 capable. Now, obviously, to get to 150 solo, you're going to need, like, generally speaking, between 2 and 3k Paragon, some augments, and some really nice gear. But even if you're a solo casual player like myself, uh, it's interesting to look through because a solo 150 clear is generally a pretty good indicator of an exceptionally strong build. So we're going to go through all the classes individually. I will timestamp this if you're just interested in, you know, Monk, Demon Hunter, Wizard, whatever. Just go to the timestamp. We're not going to go through every single board because a lot of them are underplayed because obviously it's PTR. We had a wipe halfway through the PTR cycle because they made changes. So, you know, there's no point going through each one individually in, in detail, but we will gloss over a few of them and we will kind of cover all of them and let you know where everything is up to. Before we do jump in though, guys, as always, thumbs up really does help out the channel uh, and do a comment let me know which one of these builds is the most interesting for you which one is it you're gunning for next season uh, i've just had a really good fun to play around the zuni master poison darts um i am looking forward to playing that and building it getting it orged up uh orbit it probably won't be like the main thing that i'm putting focus into but as i say it's always been a a, a favorite of mine right so we'll start off with barb uh now We've got 150 on Barb in 10 minutes. Uh, it is Whirlwind. It is with an eye-watering 4.4k Paragon. It is with all of the gear uh, being absolutely perfect. Uh, no shenanigans, I don't think, with the gems. So it is, you know, totally legit. Uh, as in, if you could build this character, it is something you could do. Uh, the next guy back is actually on uh, Lon Hota, I think. Uh, so Whirlwind, I think, you know... Probably you will see some 150 clears uh, with it. It's a very strong build, but I think it's going to be a little bit uh, of a difficult one. It's going to be um, out of the 150s. I think it, it's not going to be like everybody on the board's going to have 150s. Uh, Raycor will gloss over simply because nobody plays Raycor at all. Uh, Might of the Earth again will gloss over, uh, despite it being the starting set for the Barb. It's not particularly, I'd say, strong very much. Uh, Immortal King is obviously one that has been changed. This has got a buff, uh, not the set itself, but the supporting Hota weapon. Uh, now, again, this is with 3k Paragon, pretty much perfect gear. Um, and we are reaching 141, uh, you know, just about. I think the next player down has got a bit more realistic gear. Uh, again, still both primal weapons, no shenanigans with the gems. Um, so, you know, probably not going to get to 150 with IK. Uh, I, you know, you might see what a clear on the season with it. Uh, I'd say probably not because another nine tiers on top of perfect gear and 3K Paragon. Uh, you know, I would say you're probably just going to miss out. But it does look like the, the, the changes are pretty strong. Uh, Frenzy is always a very popular one. No changes to it this season. Uh, and obviously it's not been pushed particularly hard. Uh, I wouldn't have thought. So this is a 3k Paragon perfect gear. Uh, again, no funny business with the gems on this one. Uh, and then a 135, uh, again, with much more kind of realistic looking non-prime weapon. So, you know, always a popular one, Frenzy Barb. But again, will you see a 150 clear with this on the season? I'd say probably not, um, but we'll have to kind of see. Uh, then we've got the new six-piece bonus. Uh, this does have uh, the 150, which is the uh, disgusting, all pri <laughs> everything primal, uh, everything orged. Again, theoretically, no funny business. 3.3k Paragon. Uh, if we have a little look at the next one down. Uh, this is interesting. This is a whirlwind build. This is nutty. Uh, Storm Shield, Oathkeeper, uh, whirlwind. Very, very, very unusual. But... This is where the cheese comes in. Uh, so as you can see on the last property of the Drag of Lies, Soul Shard in the weapon, on receiving fatal damage, spawn a shadow that prevents your death, restores your health to 35% and grants 225 all resist to all party members while active. Shadow lasts 15 seconds. Uh, 
you're thinking what's the shenanigans uh this thing when it when it spores when it stops you from dying it does some kind of gigantic damage spike um and people are basically using this to they just stand there they get receive fatal damage uh and then basically blows up whatever's around them so complete cheese clear uh which is which is quite funny uh this is a much more realistic one again legacy of nightmares or legacy of dreams hota primal weapon but again you know the rest of the stuff's fairly fairly standard uh just under 3k paragon so it doesn't really look like we're going to get to 150 uh on the hota um you know without eye-wateringly perfect gear but i mean this guy has shown it is possible uh so again we'll just have to see it's a maybe i think so barb changes it looks like the hose of weapons landed you know fairly decently um but not much going on in terms of barb uh in this patch moving on to crusader 150 in six minutes this time uh we do have aegis of valor so again eye watering 4.3k paragon uh you know perfect weapon shield lots of primals all that kind of stuff uh, no shenanigans with the gem so this probably will be a 150 capable because we've got quite a few people uh, who have cleared it now interestingly we've got 150 clear on a con so this is with the bomb seder only 2.4k paragon so you know very achievable in the season uh nice gear by all means not like totally all primal and stuff so this is a very achievable one uh no shenanigans with the gems at all none of that cheese so i'm gonna say a khan will get to 150 i you know fairly comfortably on the bomb uh in an interesting way it does look actually a little stronger than the aegis of valor uh in some respects because um you know this this guy does have uh, quite a lot of primals and stuff but again those two generally fight it out uh Seder will get to 150 you know whether it'll be a massively popular class uh, i'm not so sure but yeah ages of valor will get you to 150 a calm will get you to 150 uh invoker nobody is touched really and uh, nobody's really pushed this at all uh, again this guy with a bunch of primals and perfect stuff uh only a thousand paragon uh getting to 125 so it's a bit of an unknown this um can it get to 150 maybe will anybody push this enough uh, i'd say almost certainly not uh, roland <laughs> nobody's touched you can get top 10 and clear with 75 obviously no changes to it similar for the secular of lice even worse the hammerdin the poor hammerdin guys you know nobody's interested in playing this no changes and it's not very strong anyway uh and then we come to legacy of nightmares uh and thorns bomb 2.7k paragon you know again decent ish gear but not like you know, not tons of primals and everything completely finished so i think there's a pretty decent chance someone will clear 150 with a thorns bomb crusader um you know particularly with tons of keys and tons of fishing and tons of time so i'm going to say this one will get there so you know 150 clears i think you are looking at a con uh, Aegis of Valor and the no six piece set. Um, none of the rest, I'm not sure, will get pushed particularly high. Uh, but that's where Crusader is up to. Uh, Demon Hunter is an absolute shit show to look through uh, because it is tons of Gears of Dreadland players who are doing this cheese with the Dragonflies weapon. So, like, literally all the way down here, um, there are just tons and tons of these 150 clears. Like it goes, I mean, even even like these, the 148, it's the drag of lies with the fatal stuff. It's it's very very hard, I think, actually, to pull this apart. Um, but let's start with Marauder. This is the one that has changed. Now, obviously, dark side, totally legit player. We've got uh, none of this cheesy. He is using the drag of lies, but it's not the the super cheese death explosion. Uh, this is basically one giving you pets damage because that is how Marauder works. So, you know, nice gear, 2.7k Paragon, probably towards, you know, the upper end uh, of what a, a good chunk of people will achieve in a season unless you stay at it the entire way round. Uh, 8 minutes, 150, so 100% Marauder is going to get you to 150 next season. Uh, you know, really good change. Uh, something I think that is pretty nice. Shadow... 144 again dark said obviously legit player set it up properly can we get another five or six tiers on this in the season with fishing with that kind of thing uh possibly i you know again if this sliver of terror gem here 
Uh, we've gone for the attack speed and crit chance on the secondary property. There is one that like melts the screen at 100 kills. So I could see some cheese with that, with the Rift Guardian. Uh, so I would say, I think, balance of probabilities, somebody will clear 150 with Shadow next season. So I do think that is pretty, pretty doable. Uh, Unhallowed Essence is largely untouched, not been pushed particularly much. Uh, again, the uh, multi-shot is actually being used on the Marauders set. So again, I just don't think people are going to be that bothered uh, about pushing UE. Bit of a shame, really. Yeah, UE's always been a favourite of mine. Uh, Natalia's Vengeance has cleared 150, uh, but again, this is with the uh, Dreg of Lies cheese. So I, you know, that you won't be seeing this on season. Uh, not pushed particularly hard. So again, probably kind of difficult to assess exactly where it's up to. Uh, somebody here is trying Natalia Gears of Dreadlands kind of hungering arrow mix uh, and getting to 125. So I don't think anybody's going to be clearing 150 with Nats. But again, we'll have to see. Uh, Dreadland, I think this is really, really hard to pitch uh, where it's going to be because you just can't find a legit clear in here. Um, and set, I mean, we've got one here, hundred was that, hundred and twenty-four, uh, with like a thousand paragon. So you know, there's there's quite a lot of uh, quite a lot of room for this. So will somebody get to one fifty? Um, I'm not so sure. I'm, I don't. It's really really hard to tell with all these fatal damage, drag of lies things in here. It's a bit of a, a bit of a difficult situation to see whether it will. It's generally very strong for speeds. It does kind of lose a little bit of punch in the later tiers, um, but I guess we'll just have to kind of see uh, as the season goes. I mean, it, it, you know, from a solo casual player, uh, it's an S tier build for everything. Um, so I guess you've got that going for it. And then the Legacy of Nightmares has been largely untouched. Again, another 150 here. Uh, no surprises, we've got some fatal damage cheese from the Drag of Lies. Uh, and yeah, Hungering Arrow, Legacy of Nightmares. I'm not sure anyone's going to push Legacy of Nightmares enough. Uh, this is a more traditional rapid fire type one. Um, again, 125, 2.7k Paragon, completely perfect gear, uh, which. Yeah, I'm going to say you're probably not going to see a Legacy of Nightmares 150, but obviously the LON stuff, people just don't really put the effort in in PTR, which, you know, is absolutely fine. So, you know, never say never, um, but I probably don't think you will. I don't think you'll see it. Uh, moving us on to Monk, uh, 150 in 2 minutes 28. I mean, how, how utterly ridiculous. Uh, this is with, uh, this isn't even without using the cheese, uh, of the explosion. This is basically just playing Shenlong's four four and a half K Paragon. Uh, you know, a lot of de dedication to get all of these perfect gear uh, and everything maxed out. Um, but I mean, will you see a one fifty in a clear? Yeah, hundred uh, percent. Unless they unless they do something about it. Um, you know, th there's just there's quite a lot of these one fifties, and you know, in some respects, they are they are totally legit. Uh, you know, like this guy here doesn't have completely perfect gear, 2.4k Paragon, um, you know, easy as you like, 150. Uh, looking like it probably will be the strongest build of uh, next season. Uh, Ray Raymond, garbage, nobody ever plays it. Um, yuck, it's my one of my least favourite sets in the game, no news for that. Uh, for the Sunwuku set, again, doesn't really look like anybody's pushed this terribly much. Uh, we've got the Tempest Rush here. No shenanigans. Will anybody clear 150 with it? Well, possibly. Uh, it just it just hasn't really been looked at at all. Uh, Uliana's stratagem not been looked at. Uh, Inners we've covered 150 for days. Uh, Patterns of Justice again not terribly looked at. A few more people have had a little bit of a go of this. Um, will this get to 150? I'd say probably not. But again. We'll have to see what people do uh, when they do have the time. And then Legacy of Nightmares, yet again, uh, we have... Uh, oh no, I was going to say this is a cheese clear, but it isn't. Uh, it is Dreg of Lies with pet damage. So Legacy of Nightmares with the uh, Mystic Allies. You know, 3.2k Paragon. We've got uh, decent, you know, pretty decent gear. So 
that does look like that is going to be achievable next season. Again, obviously, not many people have gone for it. Uh, so will you see a legacy of nightmares? Uh, 150 clear on Monk on Wave of Light. Yeah, I, I think you probably will looking at this, actually. I thought this was a, a dodgy one, but uh, that's my bad. It totally is not legit. Uh, Necro, I don't think many people have probably touched Necro um, in this particular patch. But even though we still do have a 150 clear, uh, but it is cheese with the fatal damage. So let's have a little look at Rathma, which is a set that got reworked. Um, 150 with... You know, 4.2k Paragon, completely perfect gear, but there is no cheese here. Uh, so, you know, will somebody do this on season? I think there probably will be somebody who does get to 150 on Rathma. Um, again, there might be more changes in the set. You know, all this stuff is perfected, um, but much lower Paragon on this one. So again, yeah, I think push comes to shove, you probably will see a Rathma clear uh, on 150. Trag's avatar, uh, <laughs> it always makes me laugh. It pains me so much. It, it, you know, it should be the coolest set in the whole game. The blood set, uh, nobody's touched it, so we'll skip over that. Uh, Inarius, a few people have touched, um, but again, uh, I, will somebody clear 150? No, I don't think anyone's going to put the effort in. Uh, Pastilence, again, uh, will someone get to 150? God only knows. No, nobody's bothered touching it. Uh, I can't really see it. I don't think there's going to be any interest. Uh, Bone Spear again uh, is definitely one of the casualties uh, of the of the recent nerf stick. I can't really see anybody uh, doing 150 with it, but you know, I mean, you never know. It depends how much effort people put in. Um, but the nerf that we had recently does seem to have pretty much killed it. And then Legacy of Nightmares. Uh, what have we got? We've got. We have got a Poison Scythe, is it Poison? Grim Scythe uh, Necro, uh, Fatal Damage Cheese on that one. Five minute 150, this will be the same I'm guessing. Yeah, Fatal Damage Cheese. So let's see if we can find, <laughs> let's see if we can find one that isn't Fatal Damage Cheese. Nope, this is one of the things that does bug me about PTR. I don't understand why people put these clears on, like just, so stupid it's such a waste of the test cycle um can we find one again there's not many people who are doing this other than for the memes and for the lols poison scythe i don't know we're just gonna i'm just gonna say i don't know because all of these you know all these clears cheese it, it's gonna be hard to say will people push it enough yeah quite possibly um, would I be rushing out to do it and uh, as a solo cash player? Absolutely not. Although I do love Necro. Uh, Witch Doctor has been, I guess, kind of the, the main thrust of this patch. It does look like, you know, this is something we're going to try and push. Uh, we've got a 150 in 3 minutes 25 uh, from Scooter. Again, fatal damage cheese, just for the memes. Um, let's go through it individually. Jade Harvester, nobody will have touched, really, because whilst we do have the updated offhand, which gives you a bit more damage, uh, no changes to Jade, uh, you're not going to get to 150 on that. Again, I just don't see people putting the effort in, even if it was capable. Uh, same for Helltooth, really. 140 with some nice gear, uh, with 2.3k Paragon. Um, would you find the extra tiers... I don't think so. So again, I'm not even sure people will be bothered to build it and push it that aggressively. Uh, Zuni, which I was championing earlier, something I'm looking forward to doing. Uh, we don't have any cheese on this, so we are using the Drake of Lies, but we're getting the pet buff. Um, this is, uh, you know, the glass cannon version of it with <laughs> with the squirts, with the CUE, with the all guilds. Um, you know, so not even using the updated toughness items. But yeah, Zuni, Zuni definitely 150 capable. Uh, again, going for the attack speed here. So yes, 100% you'll see the Zuni's clear with one uh, with a 150. Um, you know, we'll we'll have to kind of sort of see uh, how that pans out. I yeah, it's a build I like. Uh, Arakir, which again is another set that they've changed. Uh, this is with cheese clear on it. Do we have one without cheese clear? Again, we just, you know, we come down 141 people. 
uh, have cheese cleared this. Like, honestly, what's the point? I just don't get it. I just don't get it. Uh, is this a legit one? No. So, again, it's really hard to judge, like, the kind of power uh, of where we're up to with this because just everybody uh, is doing the fatal damage cheese. So, again, hard to know. Uh, again, I need to have a little bit more of a play with this. I'm always reluctant to make guides on these things just because I do think there is scope for the season theme to change. Um, will you see a 150 clear on it? Yeah, maybe. It's very, very hard to say uh, without the cheese. Um, but yeah, quite possibly, I think you will see one. Uh, Mundanugu, <laughs> solo 150. Uh, no cheese, which is nice. Uh, 4.5k Paragon, everything perfect. Um, but, you know, I mean, again, people will be building this. There will be a lot of people building Mundanugu for group play. Um, so I think, yes, you probably will still see a 150 clear. Uh, by the end of the season i do think the gems help it out quite a bit the soul shards uh so yeah i i'm gonna say yes for Montenugu. uh legacy <laughs> of nightmares i think quite possibly on the poison darts but i mean look at this this is this is really funny uh so again fatal damage cheese missing a couple of items i mean that obviously needs to get fixed uh but i mean it's gonna be dagger of darts i'm guessing or is it spiders? This looks like spiders. Is this legit? No. Again, really, really hard to pick this one apart because everything in here is just complete cheese. Uh, so we will have to see uh, on that. And then Wizard. Have many people been playing? We do have a 150 with Firebirds. Uh, no cheese, but everything perfect. 4K Paragon. Uh, so still capable of doing 150, uh, but looking like a lot of juice is necessary. Uh, even this one is fairly juiced up. Um, I mean, yes, I think you will see 150 uh, clears on Firebirds still. Obviously, they nerfed it. They've buffed it again. Uh, again, it depends how many people play Wizard and how many people put the effort in. Uh, Veers, no, you're not going to see 150. Again, no changes to it. Uh, DMO, I don't think you'll see 150 again. Just, I, I don't see many people playing Wizard. It's obviously... You know, the only change has been a nerf, really. Talrashes, no. Typhon's Veil. A 146, which is quite interesting. Um, again, you'd have to sort of see whether people bother to put the effort in on this. Uh, you know, potential, I think there's possibility for it. Again, it's another... Any of these pet builds using the Drag of Lies, I think there is potential. You know, they are getting quite a lot of juice off it. And then, lastly, we have the Legacy of Nightmares. <laughs> again, someone's cleared 150. Uh, with twist it's not cheese which is interesting uh so yeah possible or bit everything here is like totally perfect uh so again will somebody sit down and do this on the season maybe again it is it is perfectly possible so that is everything we've got out of the season so far the season you know theme and the ptr uh we've got obvious huge issues with things being cleared 150 in two minutes uh you know not going to be good for the game uh we've got a few things to to fix will there be some more balance changes i'm a little nervous i kind of almost hope there isn't um because if we don't have much time for testing i'm not sure that's a good idea to be messing about with things but pretty much whichever class you pick uh, you know you are going to have a route to a very high push build um there's going to be a lot of fun with speed builds i'm looking forward to getting the season started um I'm kind of thinking I might ditch Crusader, I might ditch Wizard, uh, but I say that every season, and then near enough I always play all seven classes because I'm a nutter. Anyway, that is a look at the PTR, some of the best builds. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you've enjoyed what's going on in Sanctuary. We're going to be busting some more guides out soon. Thanks for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day. Take it easy. Peace.